Um, we don't really have any equip equipment requirements today, but I do ask everyone to have a bottle of water because we will use our voices pretty much throughout the entire session. <clears throat> okay, so, um, and if you see me kind of stepping back and forth a little bit, I'll probably be coming up occasionally to let people in if they're coming in a little bit late. And then the final thing I'll say is that we're gonna use our voices throughout here. Feel free to leave your mics open. It does sometimes add to a little bit of cacophony, but uh, it, it's valuable for me to be able to see and understand what people are doing. And also some of that will add to a little bit of what we call the cognitive load. I mean, we'll be able to really um, see how you're doing, see how you're, you're, you're going along with the exercises. And then I can kind of tell when people are having trouble sometimes too. So um, without further ado, I think I'm just gonna warm up with a couple of basic exercises and then we're gonna go into some more cognitive <laughs> kind of activities. So I generally speaking, um, I'm going to do a lot of this warm up in my standing position. If you're seated, I got a, a chair right here, and I'll show you real quick what I'm looking for. But you can do them in either in either plank. You don't have to be standing with me. Well, I like to have my feet just a little wider than my shoulders, so I can kind of shift my weight. Oh, nice. And, and um, that allows me to do some of the movements we need. But I don't want you to be so far out that you're putting a load on. We're not like trying to load up and be in a super. Uh, standing position like that. We want to be able to shift a little bit. We don't want to be locked into anything. And then if you're going to do this in a chair real quick, looking at the camera there. Um, my only thing with this, I like chairs that don't have arms. It should be nice and solid. And then as you're seated, if you can lean forward a little bit, as you come up more upright, so you kind of have your, your bones, your ischial tuberosities, your sits bones right there. Try to avoid getting into this real kind of, I'm going to slump back into my chair because that's going to limit your movement. So if you're upright, you're just going to lean forward like you're picking something off the ground, unweight, and you come back up and you're, and you're ready to roll. Okay? So uh, first and foremost, let's do a little bit of breathing. And for a lot of these exercises, I'm going to do something that you probably haven't seen before. Uh, it's called lengthening breath. It's not a diaphragmatic breath. It's not the breathing that you do when you go to Tai Chi or yoga where your belly comes out and then it relaxes. We actually want your, your stomach for this exercise only to go back and down and you become more upright and taller and longer. So when you inhale, it's going to go. The purpose of this is to do a couple things. On the one hand, it's going to mobilize this area up here and kind of un, un, uh, basically break down some of the, the frozen movement that happens here in the rib cages. But also, it's going to make you more upright. It's going to make you uh, uh, aiming your audio signal, your, your speech towards people's yeah. ears and better eye contact. So it's just setting you up for communication. So you can start with your hands on your stomach and you're going to inhale. Just yeah, like that. Sometimes I'll just maybe maybe see it better this way. Just like that looks great. Again. So again, I'm not pushing with my hands. I'm just feeling my stomach here. It goes back. And then at the end of the breath, of course, it is going to open up a little bit and come back out in the way it normally does. And the whole concept actually comes from Pilates, but I use it again for communication in this situation. Okay, so now you have that nice setup here. Now you're going to have nice tight fists here. You're going to open and close. So you got your tight fist here. You open up. Same lengthening breath. Fingers are all the way spread. And then you exhale. Try it again. Looks really good. One more time here. And you're really trying to contrast all the way open here, all the way nice tight fist here. Now we're going to take one elbow, we're going to lean into it. And you're just going to stretch along that side. You should really be feeling a nice stretch along this part of the rib cage there, along the uh, anterior serratus. Good. Now, other, other direction, you're going to lean the other way. If you need a little more effort, this is not giving you enough. You can blow out like you're blowing out candles. And on the flip side, if uh, you're getting all dizzy or lightheaded, slow down. 
don't work quite as hard, don't go quite as fast. Now we're going to just do a couple more movements here. We're going to inhale, you're going to step, and you're going to push like you've got a big heavy door. Make sure you're rotating so you're not, you're not twisting your back. Your foot's coming a little bit with you there so you get that full motion. Let's do the same direction. Push. Good. One more time, then we're going to go up this time. So you're going to push up. Like that. We'll do one more just like that because I see some people miss that. There you go. And now we'll go the other direction. So this hand going to go this way. Ready? You inhale. Step a little bit. Push. Good. There we go. Good, and we'll do one up to the sky. Then. Ready to push up here? Great. Now, we're going to warm up our voices, and the way I like to do that is to hum. The humming is a very good way to get the sound going, but it's impossible to have tension when you're humming, and that's really why I like to choose it. That having been said, I don't want you to hum like we're humming a song that you heard on the radio or something like that. I really want a loud, active hum. It's like you're doing LSVT loud or speak out if you work with one of those kind of therapists. So you do that loud ah. Just do it with your mouth closed, and you're going to hum and hold it all the way through. And when you're getting to the about the end of your breath, you just stop. You don't try to squeeze out the last little bit or anything like that. You're just going to hum and hold it all the way through. So we're going to take a big breath through our nose. Wow, that was really good. Yeah, very nice, guys. And exactly what we're looking for is that kind of energy, basically. And if I look like I'm you know, like Superman or, or you're doing Wonder Woman, whatever, that I am doing that a little bit. I am pushing a little bit more and it's just, just to kind of get the extra stretch out of this. So let's try that one more time. We're going to do lips close one more time. In through your nose. part is you're going to purse your lips a little bit. You're actually you're just going to open them up a little bit. Oh, ooh, it looks like you're playing a flute, like you get that kind of uh, embouchure, as we say. And that's going to move all the vibration forward. So the buzziness is going to move to the front of your face. We're going to wake that part up a little bit. Same energy, same power. So here we go. it's easier to hold that longer because you get a little bit of a, of a release there. So uh, that's a great sound. That's what we're looking for. And now we're going to try it with rounded lips. And with the rounded lips, it's going to be more of a sound that has resonance. And we're going to use it in a moment with some glides. But for now, we'll stay on one pitch. So we're just going to have a sound that looks like this. It's going to go. It almost looks like I'm whistling. But when you hear me move the sound up and down. It's more like a siren in that way, but let's stay on one pitch. Let's just do the round of lifts together. Here we go. Oh, God, there you are. I like listening now. Is this a harder one to hold for as long because you have more air coming out because you have a bigger hole? You have, you've made it bigger, but you can cheat that a little bit by actually pushing harder. And pushing harder makes you think you're going to run out of the air 
faster, but actually it makes all the structures work more efficiently. And it's kind of a, a, a learnable part of this is if you push and use enough energy, you actually get your speech out more efficiently so you're easier to understand. Also, you have better breath support. So what we'll try, we'll do that same, but this time you're going to do it a lot louder. So just try to get a gear up and push with me. Ready? Excellent. Yeah, and again, the key is that um, a lot of times with Parkinson's, you don't use quite the amount of energy or amount of sound, and when you bring it back into what it used to be, all of a sudden things work the way they're supposed to, and you get the you get the benefits of that. And if you kind of let it stay kind of quiet or relax, you end up working a lot harder because things aren't moving with the proper mechanics, basically. So we're going to take this now. We're going to move this rounded lip sound, and we're going to work on some glides. So let me pull this slide up real quick. And the glides are always going to be when you go from a low note to a high note or a high note to a low note. If you've done any work with a, a speech therapist in your area, I, I kind of recommend that everyone have a relationship with a speech therapist and a physical therapist and an occupational therapist, but always with somebody in your town that you can see one-on-one -on -one and knows you. But if you've done LSVT with somebody, you've done glides. You've done ah from low to high or high to low. We're going to do it slightly different. Okay, We're going to use the word whoop. And we're going to go from the lowest note we can make to the very highest note we can make. We're going to really try to get whoop, way up into falsetto, even the men. And I like to add in a bit of movement. So we're going to breathe in with our arms like this. Then we're going to go all the way from the low note to a high note saying the word whoop. Fast. Yeah, you might need to go a little faster to get momentum. So let's try it again. Ready? Very good. Let's try it again. Good. And I hear some people that are getting stuck at some part of it. That's very common, especially the first couple times. Don't worry about that. This, will, this whole video will be posted to PAR's YouTube channel. You'll be able to watch this later on. And you just need to, just need to build that muscle. You need to get used to moving it around. We'll do it one more time. And for the people who are getting stuck and you know who you are, uh, move a little faster. Get a running head start. See if we can get this up there. And you might be able to get a little farther, okay? So come with me and we'll try it one last time. <laughs> Very good, very good. And again, you would say, well, why am I working on my, my Bee Gees voice, you know, my Barry Gibb way up there or something like that? And it's because we actually use this a lot of times up and down this intonation. That's how we kind of convey meaning. When I'm asking a question, or I put it up like that, all of a sudden it sounds like I'm asking you something like that. Right. Now we're going to go the other way. We're going to go from a high note to a low note. The word we're going to use is boo, but you'll see that I open it up to a nice big ah, and this is just a warming up our loud voice. So we're going to go ahead and take a breath in through our nose. Arms up with me like this. We're going to say boo. That's great. Let's try it again. Yeah, and part of the trick is if I say boo all the way down to the bottom, you can get kind of tight, and that's why we're doing this ah, but it's also a nice warm-up for an easy ha ah, ah. We're getting an easy big sound. We're not fighting for it. We're not shouting. We're not yelling. I'm just pushing a lot of air out, and the sound happens. So let's try it one more time, and let's see if we can all get a big ah at the bottom there. Ready? <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Oh. It was like I used to tease it, like if I don't have I don't have kids, but if I had teenagers, I'd be like, 
Oh, 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 bored. So like, I'm, you're almost being facetious about it, but that's the sound we want. That big sound means that you don't have to fight for it. You just kind of push it and get it out of the way for you there. So we're going to go ahead and now warm up the loud voice, and we're going to just use a couple vowel sounds. Again, if you've done LSVT or something like it, you're probably used to doing loud ah. This will be a little bit different. I beg your pardon, I'm looking for the slide. There it is, I think. Okay. Tell you what. I have it with a slightly different background. For some reason, it's not here. But. There we go. We can use this. I hear someone. It sounds like their TV or something's on the background. I'm going to see if I can dig them up, but I'm, I'm not going <coughs> to turn them off here. There we go. There we go. Okay. So. For this part, all you're going to do is you're follow along with me, and basically you're going to do a humming sound with our hands together, and we're going to do an ah with my right hand on top. If my hands are farther apart, my mouth is open wider, and I'm getting a bigger sound. So this is full Pavarotti. This is probably nice and loud. This is somewhere where you'd be using it in a normal conversation. And then with my left hand on top, it's an O sound, and with my E sound, it's side to side. So you're just going to follow along with me. You'll see me doing these movements. See if you can just mimic what I'm doing. But the main thing is to get a nice, big, loud sound. Okay? Oop, I see someone trying to come in here real quick. Let's start there. Okay, guys, ready? <laughs> dynamic we're going to start as quiet as we can get louder 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 to all the way open okay so here we go we're just last piece of this ready starts nice and small with me ready a lot of voice work. Let's go ahead and get a little sip of water and we'll get into our first exercise, okay? First exercise. Can you grab it? Yeah. Well, first yeah. exercise is not just voice. Let me go that way. <laughs> okay. So for this activity, we're going to try to be walking in place. It should be pretty easy. And the reason why we do this, it, there's a tendency 
when you have Parkinson's to have changes in your ability to what we call dual tasks. So if you're walking and talking with someone and then maybe you're getting into the conversation and all of a sudden the walking gets a little bit different or maybe the posture changes. And so what we're going to do is we're going to keep walking in place, nice movement. You can do this while you're seated. You can still do the same movement. You can just maybe do something with your feet so that you're getting some of the cardio out of it. But the idea, you want to keep our movement going very well. And then we're just going to walk through these here, this, this entire list. And I want three words, three words that use the word instant. They're compound words in this case. So you put one hand up for the first answer, one hand up for the second answer, and one hand up for the third one like that, or both hands up for the third one. I see someone's cat that's joining us now. So I hope the cat doesn't get frightened by what we're about to do here. So walking in place, we're going to start with instant. Give me something that uses the word instant. Oatmeal. Coffee. It's an oatmeal. Mm. I, I, I think coffee. It's a coffee. Uh, Close. Potato flakes. What, what? Give me another one, guys. Honey. Okay. Yeah. Good. It's my. Okay. How about security? Security. Check. Check. Your security clearance. Clearance. Guard. Blanket. Security blank. Good. Civil. Here we go. Yes. Liberty. Please. War. Yes. War. Okay. Service. Right. Service. Civil service. Good. Let's just try that. Civil liberties. Civil war. War. Service. Civil service. Okay. April. Oh, April showers. April showers. April Fool's Day. April Fool's Springtime. Okay, April Springtime. April is also Parkinson's Awareness Month, just in case anyone doesn't know. Uh, International Parkinson's Day is on April 11th, and the entire month is is the celebration of, well, celebration, the recognition of Parkinson's around the world. Okay, National. 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 Holiday. National Banks. The National, National Bank. Bank. National Holiday. The National Holiday. There you go. The National Bank, National Holiday, and the National Park. National Guard. Oh, no, National Park. Not National Park. There you say it. I can hear you. If you say it nice and loud, I'll, I'll, I'll call it back out to us. I can hear us. Okay, rubber. Rubber. Rubber band. Rubber, band. Rubber, band. rubber ball. Rubber ball. Rubber ball. We killed it. Number three, our legal. Number three for that. Legal aid. Legal, legal aid. Yeah. Legal pad. There you go. Rights. Legal rights. Legal rights. Absolutely right. Great. Gold. Standard. Gold standard. Oh, that's okay. Gold jewelry. Gold jewelry. Gold jewelry. Gold jewelry. Gold jewelry. Metal. Gold, gold standard. How about, how about when it's not real gold, it's covered in gold, uh, gold? Gold. Gold. Gold plate. Gold plate. Gold plate. Gold leaf. That's what you get. Same thing. Gold plate. Better. Uh, first. Base. First base. First base. First child. First child. Love. First, uh, First Amendment. First, First Amendment. Boy, I like where we're going here. We must have an attorney in our midst. That's great. Okay. French. Last one on this page here, guys. French. Fries. 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 French food. French food. Okay. How about French toast? French toast. French toast. Yes. Yeah. And French cuisine or French food. <laughs> yeah, good. I got another one right here, guys. Don't go away. Okay. Okay. Chocolate. Chocolate bar. Chocolate cake. 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 Eternal revenue coming up in April too, isn't it? <laughs> and then clock. Internal clock. Yeah, yes. Okay. Cream. Sure. Cream. Ice. Cream cheese. Ice cream. Good. Yeah. And cream cheese. Both good ones. And then cream and sugar. Cream and sugar in my sugar. coffee. Very good. 
Holy. 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 Good. Yeah. Holy week. Holy week. Yes. Yes. Okay. Credit. Credit Suisse. Credit card. Credit card. Union. Credit union. There you go. Credit check. Credit score. Good. Okay. Good. Yeah. Someone had score too. I didn't. I didn't ignore you there, but I just we only had three. Free. Freestyle. Free lunch. Freestyle. Free speech. Free speech. Enterprise. Free enterprise. Yeah. There you go. There's that chirp. Ah. Hi. School. No. High school. High school. I know. I I attend. I yours. I I I jump. I jump. There you go. Yes. Uh, cable. TV. TV. Car. Cable net. Cable net. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, premium. Premium. Yes. Lane. Yeah. Yes. Yes. How about like that yeah, premium blend, like that's coffee. We get the fancy stuff at, at whole whole paycheck. Then what do you got? Uh, premium brand. Yeah. Brand. Premium brand, and then maybe um. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Premium gasoline. Good one. That's a good one. I don't, I don't remember that. Okay, last one, guys. Solar. Solar system. Panels. Solar system. Solar panel. Solar panel. Eclipse. Solar eclipse. eclipse. Okay. You got it done. Nicely done. Very well played, guys. Okay, moving along. We're gonna get another exercise up here. Just keep moving. Don't don't let yourself fall into uh, relaxing yet. Okay, I'm gonna demo this and then I'm gonna put on a video. But for now, let me just demonstrate. We have two desserts. And then you have a bunch of mismatched letters that are gonna be two words that match the clue up here, right? So we have two desserts. What are the two? The two desserts. Cake and pie. pie. Cake and pie. Okay. Cake and pie. Yeah. Let me give another example to give some other people a chance at it. Okay. Two sharp items. Scissors, scissors knife. It does a knife. Knife and scissors. Okay. You, so now you know, we're coming up here on my side. What you do? Just go ahead. One hand arm up for this. One arm for the other. Try to see if you can keep it. Two things you read. Magazine. Book. Book and magazine. Book. Magazine. I have people trying to get in here, so I'm going to let them in real fast, and then we're going to go. There we go. Okay, next one. I won't have the answers for each one. I just put them in there to give us a little bit of help. We need it. Two colors. Purple, green. Purple. Green. Green. Whoever is super fast, make sure you're doing the movements, and if you be extra good, don't let your walking fall apart, which is what mine's doing. I'm talking too much. Here we go. Ready? Tiger and bear. Tiger and bear. Yeah. The best way to get a louder sound is to stretch out the vowels. Two pieces of furniture. Chairs. 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 Chair. Chair. I really have to say chair and table because it's easier. Okay. Two articles of clothing. Birds. 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 Two body parts. Leg and elbow. Leg. Leg and elbow. You're doing it correct, Tom. You got it. Seven. Seven and ten. Ten. Seven. I'm just going with whatever letters first, but other than that, your answers are correct. Okay, two wall hangings. Picture. You got it. Two occupations. Barber. Barber. Barber and a... Yeah. 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 Apple. And Apple. Apple and spruce. Spruce. Mm -hmm. Very good. We got this, guys. Okay, two sports. Baseball. Baseball. Robin. 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 Wren. Wren. W. Wren. Robin and Wren. Good. Happiness and... and too much movement, guys. You can just say the words. You can just be like, Eight, five. Eight, five. Five. You can do that, okay? I'm just giving an extra for people who need a little bit more push. Two spices. Pepper. Salt. Cinnamon. Pepper. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yeah. Two types of music. 
jazz, jazz, jazz. and rock. Yep. Rock time. Good. Two colors. Orange and orange. Orange and yellow. And again, if you're not moving your hands, it's no problem. Just use your voice nice and loud. You have boxing. 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 Karate. Karate. Two things you want to learn. Slippers. And slippers. Hose. Two rooms in a house. Bedroom. Kitchen. 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 Two finding clothing. Blouse. 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 Coat, I think, maybe. I can't. Yeah, I can know. Blouse and coat. Two writing implements. Pencil. 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 There you go. Yes, good, good. Two sharp items. Scissors. 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 R. R. And a. M. Maybe, maybe I wasn't a ship. Was it? Okay, two kinds of fish. Uh, killer. Tuna. Tuna. Yeah, killer. Okay, guys, nice work. Okay, I got to pull up another one here. Keep, keep it, keep it moving here, guys. Actually, for the next one, I'm going to give you a little bit of chance. So you don't have to keep walking in place. I'm going to give you a little bit of a discussion. You can sit down. You can take a break for a second. Definitely get some water. And I'm going to talk for a second. Just, just to give the highlights of what we're going to do with the exercise, basically, we're going to be using what we call contrasting intonation. And that sounds like a fancy term, but it actually just means that we're going to emphasize words that we're trying to convey without necessarily adding volume. And we do that by either adding a pause before and after, these little speed bumps so that we know that, hey, this thing I'm stopping right in front of, it's going to give us some emphasis. Or you can increase the vowel length. And increasing the vowel length is really good because you can always stretch out the vowel. You get more sound with less effort. But you don't want to overdo it unless you're trying to be uh, sure, show people that you're frustrated. And sometimes you do want to do that. But I don't want to train everyone how to be good and cranky. I just want you to know that you can increase the vowel length with it and give yourself some good results. Let me give you a quick demo. We signal voiced and voiceless consonants all the time, and it's a way that we, we do this with this vowel link. We say bop versus bob. Let's all say that again. Bop. 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 That's the vowel link. We just open up there. Duck. Dog. Duck. Dog. 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 Good. And then hit versus kid. Kid. Hit. Lag. Kid. And then lap versus lap. 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 So by making longer vowel sounds, by making you're just stretching it out a little bit. You're not doing anything crazy. We know the whole map there. We go, oh, he's saying the one that ends with B or the one that ends with G, not the one that ends with T or F P or something like that. And this is just a way to convey meaning. But none of it has to do with thinking loud or speaking with intent, which are really important parts of being, being understood with Parkinson's. But there are other ways to get that meaning across. And that's what this exercise is going to show us. So I'll, I'll walk us through it. What's a speed bump? A speed bump is a pause before or after. So if I said, hey, I don't want you to go to Colorado. First, I want you to go to Wyoming and then drive down through Colorado. And that way you get to experience the national parks up there and we're going down. So I think you're going to go to Wyoming. And that, that pause, that speed bump, lets you know that this is the part that I'm talking about that's important. All the filler words in the middle, that's important. The key part was Wyoming, although I would say if I had my choice, I'd go to Colorado, but that's another story. You know, I'm, my point is that speed bumps are just for conveying information. So I'll tell you what I have. I have one. This would be hard to read, so I have it laid out better, but I just want to kind of show you how I'm going to do the exercise, and then I'll pull up a video, and you can see what we're up to, okay? So I'm going to say all the stuff in green. I'm going to say the part here. What will be in Miami this year? And then you guys are going to respond. What is it? The conference. Yeah. The conference will be in Miami. What's going to be in Miami this year? You can say, the conference will be in Miami this year. Okay, again, be careful. Try not to sound like you're cranky. Okay, I don't want you to train you to sound like you're angry old people. <laughs> the conference will be in Miami this year. And I'll say, the conference won't be in Miami this year? And they go, no. The conference will be in Miami this year. 
Okay, you've already got this. So I'm, we'll do one more demo, and then I'm going to actually put the exercise on so we can work. How about, will the conference be in Atlanta this year? Boa. Boa means good in Portuguese. Nicely done. Let's go ahead and pull up the video. Yeah, here we go. I, I'm going to walk in place. You might take a minute to give yourself some, some cooling down. So I'm going to say, who must fly to Detroit by noon on Thursday? John doesn't have to fly to Detroit by noon on Thursday? No, John doesn't have to fly to Detroit by noon on Thursday. Yeah. John must drive to Detroit by noon on Thursday? Yes, no. John. John must fly to Chicago by noon on Thursday? John must fly to Detroit by noon on Thursday. You guys are killing this. Okay. John must fly to Detroit by 3 o'clock on Thursday? John must fly to Detroit by noon on Thursday. By noon on Thursday. John must fly to Detroit by noon today? I hope not. Thursday. 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 Exactly right. You've got it. You got it. I'm green. Y'all are blue. Okay. So I say, who canceled the appointment? Okay. So now I'm going to say, well, what did Jeanette do? Jeanette. So if I say, what did Jeanette cancel? And you say, Jeanette canceled her desk appointment. So the operative part is dentist, right? Jeanette canceled a dentist appointment, right? We'll try that one more time. Jeanette canceled a dentist appointment. For the end of the month. Did Jeanette cancel the dentist appointment at the beginning of the month? At the end of the month. And let's pretend that you're tired. Let's pretend that you're having a hard time getting the sound out. You're in a big noisy room. A bunch of people are talking and shouting. You're in a restaurant. You say, the end of the month. You could, you could cut it down. You could grab the part you want. I like the extra working your way through the entire sentence. But if you had to, you can just say, the end of the month. Yeah. And goes, oh, that's what you meant, not beginning. Let's try it. Did Jeanette cancel a dentist appointment at the end of the week? Jeanette canceled the Good. Okay. I'll change gears with this a little bit more. I have I have more of these, but I think uh, now it feels like it's a good time to sit down for people who are standing. Um, so again, get maybe a sip of your water, and I'm going to show you the next exercise. Okay. So again, you don't have to do this in a chair, but it, it's easier if you do. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to have um, words that are abbreviations or acronyms, and we're just going to reach for them as they, as they appear. So you'll, you'll see them showing up in, in uh, the different places. There you go. I'm going to make it a little slower here so we show it up here. So as I'm seated here, guys, all I'm going to do is I'm going to reach out and touch, grab, and say what the abbreviation is. Very important person. Very important person. Yeah, good. And then this one? Internal Revenue Service. Internal Revenue Service. And see if you can reach up like it's uh, showing up on your screen. Okay, now you have? Yeah. Metro Goldwyn Mayor. Metro Goldwyn Mayor. I challenge a millennial to know what that one is. Okay. Or utility vehicle. Or utility vehicle. Utility vehicle. Right on, guys. Nicely, like you mean it. As soon as possible. As soon as possible. Also known as. Also known as. Yes, very good. Frequently asked questions. Frequently asked questions. Not too great in my French. But yes, okay. Bring your own beer. Bring your own beer. Bottle. bottle beer, yeah. Bring your own beer. Bring your own bottle. <laughs> I'd like to make this a slightly more challenging one. What what I think we'll do, this is your financial. When it shows up in red, 
I want you to use your right hand. And that means that you might, might be reaching over this way. You might be reaching this way. So if it's red, it's right. If it's blue, left hand. Okay, and mirror image is going to show up here. So use your blue. Your blue is your left hand. Don't don't try to mimic me because it's not going to show up right on the screen. And then if it shows up white, then you just continue with what was before. So if you're using your your left hand before, you stay with your left hand. If you're using your right hand before, you stay with your right hand. So that that's the that's the only variation. You guys are doing too well on it, and so I just kind of want to. I don't want to slow us down, but I want to make us work a little bit more for it. So let me try it with. There we go. You want to see? So you can see. Uh -oh. so blue. Guess, oh, I'll take one. Doctor in philosophy. Doctor in philosophy. Good. United States of America. United States of America. Sorry, guys. Oh, I see. Should be. For you. Should be. Some kind of medical doctor. Doctor. It's. Keep with it. Doctor of osteopathy. Yeah, good. Yeah, DOs. Okay. Health maintenance organization. Health maintenance organization. Okay. Compact disc. Compact disc. Could be a certificate of deposit. Sure. As soon as possible. Oh yeah, private corporation. Okay, good. Um, AKA. National Air Force. That broadcasting system. The nations. There we go. <laughs> Prisoner of war. Prisoner of war. POW. American Airlines. American Airlines or alcohol. I guess I have to update that one. Now we have a new term for it. Oh, I can't really see it. Oh, it's IOU. Intestinal or general issue, yes. Yeah. Um, identification. Identification, right on. Recreational vehicle. Good. I think we're getting this pretty well. This is. Collect on delivery. Collect on delivery. Yeah, collect on delivery. Very good. Um, National security. This is home box, 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 box office. So, staying in a seated position, you could do the standing too, but I'm going to stay seated because I think this is a nice way as we're starting to wrap through the, the last part of the session here. We have five words, and I want you to basically reach for each one and say them out with the, say it out loud with intent. So you're going to say. Wait, 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 leave, 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 exit, exit, exit depart. depart. Which one doesn't fit? Wait, 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 wait. Everything else is about going somewhere or going away. Wait doesn't, okay? What would you say? Okay, guys, coming up along as we see here. Participants. And Reaching is optional, but it certainly helps make it more more like you're, you're working on it. So let's see what comes up here. Here we go. Ready? Ready. 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 Sticker. Sticker. Right on, guys. Sparkle. Sparkle. Sticker. Sticker. Reduce. Glitter. Reduce. Reduce. Yeah, nice. Limit. Explore. Investigate. Research. Delve. Right on. Weight, ruler, height, length, 
Wet. 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 Ruler. Wait. Wait. I can kind of go either way. A ruler because it doesn't. Yes. Either one. Uh, submissive. Humble. Discipline. Punish. Guys, okay. Sympathy. Sympathy. Jealousy. 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 Okay, I'm giving the answers too much. Here we go. Ready? And good. And Right on time, guys. Bush. Flower. Tree. close i want to do something that's not quite so movement i mean it's movement oriented but i don't want to go so quick okay so i'm going to have some clocks come up here and uh we're first we're just going to we're going to try to mimic their movement so we're going to say okay one arm's up here you're going to try to breathe it and this is what happened, what happened? it's seven o'clock seven. yep and I'll, I'll don't worry these will be coming up automatically i won't have to do that i'm just demonstrating first okay so you're just going to try to have one arm here, one arm here, and our whole idea is kind of like when we were starting at the very beginning, I'm trying to wrap it back together. It's the same move we have here, but I want to do it with some different movements to try to make it a little more challenging. Now, I have done this wrong because I had the wrong arm up, so it should be like this. I'm really actually spatially challenged, I've decided. So this is what it should look like, because if I was to go right in front of the clock, this is what it would look like. Does that make sense to everybody? But I often do this, and if I do it wrong, don't follow me, okay? I just, it's, it's something I didn't play enough video games when I was a kid, and I don't have this skill, but I'm learning. Okay, so here we go. Ready? Started to do it. What time is that? <laughs> so we're going to do just a short round of this, guys. I got like 12 or 15 of them here. I'm just going to do them with a... a there we go. And we're just going to match them. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. You can try to see if you can make it any more perfect. Four o'clock. And then we got 
15. Good, like that. Slow me, may have it on too slow. Now, here we go. Ready? 11 o'clock. Yeah, 11 o'clock. That's it. Uh, yeah, good. Um, Cross over. Yep, very good. Very good. All right, this and that. That's good. Very good. Okay. Five thirty. Five thirty. Yep, I'm kind of got it there. Five thirty. Nicely done. And then eleven oh five. Eleven oh five or twelve oh five. Correct. All right. Three thirty-five. Three thirty-five. Exactly right. And this is the one we did in the beginning. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Oh, you know, if I was smarter, I would have ended this at uh, twelve thirty. I would have made it worse. Seven forty. Seven forty. Seven forty or twenty of eight. Yeah, very good. I think we got just one or two more. It'll blank out on us here. Ready? Uh, eight thirty. Eight thirty. Yeah. And. Gotta be the last one here. There you go. Oh, this is easy too. Eight. Eight twenty. Eight twenty. There. Eight, yeah. I want to be. Okay. Four forty. Four forty. Four forty. And I just. All right. And then. One thirty. One thirty. Thirty. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna because I want to be respectful of time and make sure that we don't go over. Um, let me just set us up for a second here and talk. Uh, this class will be available online for anybody. It'll be on the PARS YouTube channel. And um, we'll be back next week. Josefa will be with me and we'll be doing, I believe it's a, a Zumba class. Um, and so this is happening for the entire month of March and April, which each week we come in with a different class, a different focus. At the beginning, we were talking a little bit about finding a specialty neurologist, a movement disorder specialist. Any inquiries like that, just send them right down to PAR, I don't know, 830-1839. I'm thinking that's the phone number. I don't know. You can also find them on their website at parkinsonrockies.org and, and find the information there. But they have those kind of details, and they're up to date with it. Before we go, does anyone have any questions, thoughts, ideas, anything I can, I can fill in on? No, it's very, very, very good. I'm glad you came in. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Thank you. Thank Thank you. Have a good one, folks. Yeah. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 -bye.